Hey guys, welcome to Brick Hub. Today I have a review for the Batman classic TV series, Batmobile. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below to let me know what you think, subscribe to this channel hitting that notification bell. Also, check out our Instagram page. So if this vehicle looks eerily familiar, that's because we got one back uh, maybe five years ago in the classic TV series, Batcave. Strangely enough, we got Batman and the Joker, but no Robin. I would have thought that it would have made more sense to get a Robin instead of the Joker, or, or maybe even all three, but that was kind of a weird decision. Moving it around to the back, you might notice that it also has a nameplate. The nameplate on the bottom right here and this kind of rotating platform, you might have seen this before. It's a very similar format to the Gift with Purchase Batmobile from the Tim Burton movie. Also, one of the cool things I had noticed about this set was there's no stud shooter over here, but there's a stud shooter over here. And basically the way they had designed it is so you can put it on display without the stud shooter. So if you want the play features, you can have it. Otherwise, you can just throw it in the trunk and make it look more sleek. So here's a look at the final build. You can see the two minifigures on the left and the right. I'm going to just pull them off to the side here. This Batmobile, it kind of spins around on this platform here. I also really appreciate the build quality. This platform, it just connects just by here, but I mean, the, the build techniques in this set were so much more advanced than the original, and I thought the original was an excellent set as well. Uh, just back here, you do have a trunk, so you can switch out this portion right here. You can put a stud shooter there instead if you want. I will never use the stud shooter because I think it looks terrible. Um, and it kind of just takes away from like that smooth aesthetic. You can also see inside it has some of his gadgets. There's a monitor on Robin's side and then it says rockets in the middle. One thing I really didn't like about this design was this middle part right here. They used a fender piece. So there's a fender popping out over Robin's side, whereas Batman's side doesn't have it, which I'm, I'm pretty OCD. So just like the slightest uneven surfaces, it, it just drives me crazy. And that is incredibly disappointing. However, I absolutely love this front portion right here on the bottom side. It uses a little bit of snot technique to go upside down and then sideways. And I think that was pretty great. I don't like this particular sticker here, but this sticker is pretty much exactly the same as the original. Turning around to the back, these are two stickers. These are supposed to be kind of like drag parachutes, but I don't know why these were stickers because they were incredibly difficult to apply, not to mention they were cut incorrectly. So there's a little bit of white on mine showing and I, I just would have preferred this wasn't even there. Maybe I'll just replace it with a regular tile. Um, and this is another detail that they use sticker detail for, but I, I, I hate stickers. I absolutely hate stickers, especially on a set that's so displayable like this one. The uh, the wheel caps or the uh, the hub caps with the Batman logo, those are the only parts of the set that are not stickers, which makes sense because it's basically a reuse of the original. And then on the underside, it's kind of a weird construction just because it's got this kind of ditch here, this concave area, and that's just so that they only had space for the two characters. I really feel like this just could have been a flat surface instead of using these pieces here, but not such a big deal. As far as the Batman minifigure goes, it's a pretty good one. It's very, very similar to the original, but it is unique, so, you know, collectors have something too. Underneath the cowl, it uses the new style of face print, and underneath the cape, it has a zipper on the back, which I thought was a pretty nice touch, just kind of adding to the campy nature of this Batman. This particular Joker is, again, another excellent minifigure. However, I really don't think this one was necessary. I really wish they would have gone with something else. Even like Batgirl would have been a lot better. To a casual observer, basically all that has changed are his expressions, which... Again, we're pretty good, but his outfit looks extremely similar to the original. So just to compare, I do have the original classic TV series Batmobile next to the new one. It might be a little bit difficult to tell the difference, but there are some pretty clear advantages over the new design as opposed to the old one. 
I, I definitely think the new design on the right is a lot sleeker, especially the front. The front grille design in this new one is, is quite excellent. I do also like the fact that you have an option to remove these stud shooters and just leave it blank up here. As far as the windscreen goes, it's, it's pretty much the same. The stickers on the side are the same. The gadgets, however, on the inside are different. Um, you do still have the bat phone, but whereas the original had the detectoscope and the emergency bat turn lever, this one just has a monitor and rockets. You might also notice that the trunk is different. This one just kind of looks like it has exhaust pipes on the bottom side, whereas this one has parachutes. And uh, for this trunk, it opens like this. This one had something like an antenna, this one doesn't. I've actually never seen this piece before, and this may have been designed for this set, uh, but we'll probably see it again in the future. As far as these wings go, I'm not sure which one I really like better. I don't think one is particularly better than the other, um, but that's it's neither here nor there. The bottom side of this construction was actually pretty similar. I didn't remember the fact that they had used these pieces and had the concave portion right here in the last design, but same thing happened again. As far as weight goes, they feel about the same, but now that I have them right next to each other, this one is actually one stud shorter, which is kind of an interesting touch. I was not expecting that. As far as the Batman minifigures go, this is the new one, this is the old one. It looks pretty similar, except the old torso and legs used the sand blue, whereas the new one used light bluish gray, sorry, for the torso and then the dark blue for the legs. On the back side, obviously, this one has the zipper, whereas this one is just plain. This one actually also had dual molded legs, which I didn't realize until now. Underneath the cowl, this one kind of used the old style of minifigure head and the printing technology was just not as good before so the flesh tone is definitely darker than it should have been um same issue on the back it has just you know the smile and the angry face whereas this one is using kind of the goggle design as far as jokers go this is the new one this is the original i mean the torso is so so similar and and, and that makes sense i mean it's the same character in the same outfit but it's I, I really don't know why they needed to make another Joker. I I mean, literally any other character from the show would have been better, in my opinion. And I think this one had the better facial expressions. Let me give you a look at the other one. And uh, I do appreciate the fact that they kept the whited out mustache on the Joker. But uh, the back, very, very similar. This one just doesn't have the line or which I, I really don't know what that's supposed to be, maybe just a crease in the fold of the outfit. So I forgot to mention this before, but Batman does come with the standard batterings, and Joker comes with a grapnel gun, which I have really watched enough of the show to know, but I kind of feel like this is just one of those weird Lego touches that Lego has included, because I can't see any good reason that Joker would use one of these. Otherwise, pretty excellent set though. For $30, the value cannot be beat, and it's a significant enough upgrade to the original that I would say it was merited. I am also starting to hear rumblings that they are going to be making several old Batmobiles throughout the year. Kind of wish we would get more variety as far as DC goes. I mean, I love Batman, and he's probably one of my favorite superheroes of all time, but I, I am getting a little bit of Batman fatigue. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below and be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel hitting that notification bell. Thanks guys. Bye.